September 8th. Hey, look, you still got time. 10% off. Remember, I think I'm going to get that 10% off. I'm going to wait a little minute, though. What's the date for this? Did I lose you? Oh, my bad. It says it right here. Available until September 8th. So you can get 10% off this until September 8th. I know folks are talking about, look, we not trying to pre-order. We don't want to do all that. We not getting into it until y'all show us gameplay. You know how I go every year, man. They not giving us no gameplay until the week of. So and if you can wait, if you die hard, you're going to get the game anyway. If you want the league pass, you're going to get you're going to get the, you know, the Vince Carter edition. It, it don't matter. Hall of Fame edition me. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen again. It's usually what happens for me. But we got Goat Yao Ming on the docket. Goat Yao Ming is here and we're going to figure things out piece by piece. We're going to figure things out piece by piece. That's what's going to happen out here. Either way, look, I'm going to get to some packs. I'm definitely going to get to some packs. I got a whole nother pack. I got another pack for you. We ended up getting lucky in the last video. You saw that we pulled a Hito Turgaloo 100. We pulled a bowl bowl. No, we pulled a, a Manute bowl. But look at this right here. We finally got this, this 10 pack, this 10 pack of season seven super pack. We're going to see what comes out of that. We're going to break down the tail of the tape. We also have, I mean, oh, dang, I, I cracked it open. So I guess we might as well go for it. The packs haven't dropped yet. The, the Yao Ming hasn't dropped yet. It's about 20 minutes away. Michael Jordan, go Jordan. Okay. About 20 minutes away. So I'm waiting on that so I can give you the agendas also. We got to get to those agendas. But what's really going on, I mean, I don't know. Cam Reddish, okay. I can work with him. At least we can sell, bro. He's sellable, I believe. I don't know how much he's going to go for, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What did we just pull here? What did we just do? Okay, we got a we got a Celtic Shack. Okay, I mean Celtic Shack. It is what it is. I was looking for something different, but it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you at this point. It's a whole lot of freaky stuff coming out of these packs. And I mean, we are I'm actually 2,000 points away from your boy with the uh from the Spurs. What's his name? Invincible, Invincible Bruh from Unlimited. What's his name, y'all? Y'all know his name, right? Y'all know his name? Y'all don't know who he is? Tim Duncan? Timmy D? Y'all don't know nothing about Timmy D. I might be running Timmy D at my forward spot, back or forward or something like that. Ain't no telling. I mean, at this point, it's no telling. We're in the point of the game where it's really no point in uh going above and beyond for things that you don't need anymore. <laughs> These invincible cards change the game. Too bad that we had to wait until July to get a game changer. It's a lot of Cam Reddish in here. I might be able to get a deluxe pack off of the uh, Mystics, a uh, Mystic deluxe pack right after this. I might have enough Galaxy Opals out of this super pack to uh, to go ahead and get one of those 10 Wally Zerbiak. Okay, so look, this is what we're going to do. This is what's going to happen. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, yeah, it's definitely enough in here. It's 10 of them. That's 200 and 50,000 of them fizzings for these players. Now, the exchange, I need like, what, six more of these? Oh, man, do I want to throw these in the exchange or do I want to just take that 250 piece? Let me see. Let me see. Give me a second. All right, so I went ahead and I threw the ones that cost the, the least. I kept the ones that cost the most. We're going to get that 75 off of that, basically. So we, we got to... We got a deluxe mythical. We're going to see what comes out of that deluxe mythical because why not? I'm just saying, let's let's pop that right now. We might as well pop that right now. Yeah, you know I'm saying we probably going to. I don't know how much we spending on on these new packs, though. OK, well, eh, a dark matter what, for what it's worth, for what it's worth. You know, what I mean, we, we making moves, we moving and grooving. We got to get to the tell of the tape, though. I want to bring you the tell of the tape real quick. Imani Bates. I think we can get a hundred and something off of him. We already have Imani Bates. Um, wow. Uh, swap from collection. 126. Okay, I'm with that. 126 is heavy. That's half of what we were going to get from from uh, the 10 box that we just opened. The 10 box was kind of hefty. You know what I'm saying? So now we're sitting on 1.7 mil for when these agendas drop for this new pack drop. Yao Ming packs. What are these? What are Yao Ming packs called? Let's let's uh go over here and take a look at the tail of the tape because we don't have much else going on for ourselves at the at the moment. Um, so 
So I want to go ahead and preface this by saying I don't care about any of these cards. I don't. Okay, maybe James Harden. Invincible James Harden, he needs to come home with me. Um, maybe, maybe Ben Simmons, but that's before we look at what they're worth. That's before we look at any of the animations or anything. Maybe Ben Simmons, maybe Karolinko. I don't really care for Adam Morrison like that. Evan Mobley is undersized, I think. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Let's, okay, that's Yao. Let's start off with this Yao, though. This is the center Yao, the goat Yao, the free Yao, I think. I'm not sure if this is free Yao. Might be free. 40 speed. Slow. Slow ball. Um, Driving dunk low, standing dunk mid. I mean, eh, it is what it is. 40, 40 uh, Hall of Fames. I mean, if you want to throw him on the floor and get busy with him, if you pull him, I'm pretty sure he can help your team just off being 7'6 alone, but he's slow. He's going to be slow, slow. And I don't know what Robert Williams' lower base is like. Is Shea Gildress's uh, upper base on normal? I'm not sure about this card. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Let's look at the uh, center power forward point guard all in. 87 speed. 87 speed is okay. 85 speed with ball. Um, 42 Hall of Fame badges, 27 gold ones. What are the animations talking about? Pro, dribble style, motion style, elite. Kate, Kobe escape. I don't know if you want to run this card at, and then the same jumper. I don't know what it hits like on very quick. Ain't no telling. Three dunk packages, default swing layup. Oh my gosh. The Zion's moving crossover. A lot of pro in there, a lot of basic in there. This card looks like a buster. Let's look at Adam Morrison real quick, though. Steph Curry and Jerry West on very quick. Mm, I don't know. Trey Young escape. I don't know. I mean, remember, these cards, these 100 overalls are 99. Everything's he got a bunch of dunk packages. How tall is Adam Morrison? Six, eight at the small forward shooting guard. OK, live with it. I live with that. He's, I'll give that card a pretty good rate and I'd say B, B plus. Um, Evan Mobley, though, a power forward center, 611, a small power forward center. 100 everything. Terrence Mann and Evan Mobley is okay. I think that's an okay jumper. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about these jumpers. Kobe. That's cold blooded. Um, Trey Young escape move. Kyrie dribble style. I don't know what this is going to run like. You might be able to get to the hoop with Giannis Antetokounmpo's moving crossover. Hey, I said his name right on accident. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He's undersized for a center power forward. So don't don't he he don't look too dominant to me. A 6'9", Andre Karolinko at power forward, small forward. I have cards better than this, though, at my small forward, power forward. He does have Patty Mills base. Okay, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to him. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm going to give it to him. He got this one. Patrick Mills, Michael Bridges. I mean, Miles Bridges on very quick. Patty Mills base is going to make it for him. Yeah, that's going to make him dominant. 12 dunk packages. Steph Curry moving step back. Trey Young escape. No, Steph Curry escaped Trey Young's combo moves, Kyrie's dribble style, Derrick Rose's signature size ups. I mean, this card is, I'm going to get this card at A, honestly, just for having Patrick Mills, just for having Patty Mills and having 99 everything. Okay, he is 98 in the standing dunk and the driving dunk. What else is he 98 in? These 100 overall cards usually have a 98 hidden in there. So, I mean, that's just what it is. But that looks like a good card. That looks like a really good card. Ben Simmons are very quick. That jumper might be bloated. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That might be a troll jumper. I don't know what. Uh, can y'all tell me in the comment section? What is Ben's jumper like? Un 13 dunk packages. That's what I got caught looking at real quick. Uh, 610 point guard, small forward is crazy with a seven foot wingspan, 60 Hall of Fame badges. Kyrie dribble style. Ben Simmons signature size up. Kimball Walker escape. And John Wall's moving step back. I'm liking it. Pro spin, pro, pro spin, pro hezzy. Pro hezzy's okay. I'll give it a Nikolai Joker's hop jumper is sticking out there. Is pointing out to me. What are his 98s though? His 98s, he doesn't have, he has a 97 free throw, 98 three point shot. That's funny. That's funny. For a hundred overall card for them to give him a 98 three point shot. Ben Simmons doesn't have too many cards this year either. He also doesn't play much in regular season. You know what I mean? He really don't play too many games. He's been hurt all his his whole career. I don't get it. I mean, if you're looking for Clyde Drexler, shooting guard, point guard, Clyde Drexler, six seven point guard. I like Clyde just for his height. I like Clyde's jumper. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we got Trey Young escape on buddy. Stephen Curry's moving step back. Um, 
hey, look, this card is a, a bean. I'm going to give this card an A just for being Clyde Drexler. Honestly, Uncle Clyde is him. Um, you see he's above the rim, 13, 15 dunk packages. LeBron James layup. Um, Clyde Drexler, Invincible Clyde is him. Don't sleep. Invincible Dwight, though, 6'10", center power forward. I never really understood. I guess I do understand it's a video game. Dwight Howard on very quick. I don't know what that shoots like. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Kimball Walker escape move. Moving crossovers on Giannis. He might be able to get to the basket. Moving behind the back on Steph. Moving Steph back on Chris Paul. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Not one bit. Um, 15 dunk packages with long athletes layup package. This card might be big. That might be him. I mean, for a point, I mean, a, a center that can move. But this point guard right here is the one that y'all might want. Um, oh, they didn't give him Patty Mills, though. I thought they were giving Patty Mills lower base. Magic Johnson's jumper on very quick. I don't like Magic's jumper. Steve Francis signature size up. Trey Young escape move. At, at least they gave him that. John Wall's moving step back. Um, this card might not be it, bro. 12 dunk packages with Magic Johnson layup. Magic Johnson's layup is kind of jelly. It's kind of jelly. I mean, this card might be gelling. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give it the highest rating I could give it. I mean, I don't really like Magic Johnson's uh, build. I'm, I'm not going to hold you. I mean, he is a 6'9 point guard, but I just don't like his build, his player build in this game ever. I've never really rocked with it like that. But this card should be pretty, pretty cool to play with. I'm not going to lie to you. All these Invincibles are hit rocks. This is the one that I'm really liking this six five point guard shooting guard james harden james harden i have the 100 overall and it's it's butter i'm still rocking with it now james harden jumper on very quick it's it's nice i like it 13 dunk packages with james harden's layup Kyrie dribble style they gave him Kyrie dribble style i want to low-key put this against the unfazed james harden the unfazed james harden versus invincible james invincible james has nine more points than buddy and if we're looking at animations, I wanted to see what was different. What did they change? Nothing. I don't see any changes in this card. I don't see any changes, honestly. I'm looking through here and don't see anything that's been changed. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, but I would have hoped for maybe Patty Mills base. But they, it, it's not needed. It's not needed at all. James Harden's jumper is actually a very good jumper. Do I see anything changed in here, though? Hold on. Yeah, and I mean, I went through there, and these cards are actually identical. The only difference is going to be a few more badges. The only difference is you're getting a few more badges out of the Invincible, and you're getting a few more, what, nine more attributes. So, I mean, that's that's uh, that's kind of shaky. I mean, I would have thought I would have thought they'd have gave him a couple of animation changes, but he honestly doesn't need any. For me, for me, he doesn't need any. Trey Young escape move. I work well with that. And then, you know, I like to do my moving step back. John Wall moving step back is nice to me. And then James Harden, everything else is not bad with Kyrie dribble style. Not for me. Now that goes, take that with a grain of salt because I mean, everybody's different. Let's look at 100 overall. Yao Ming sitting on 60 Hall of Fame badges. This is a seven foot six center power forward. Get me right, right? Michael Jordan dribble style. Robert Williams lower base with Shea Gilgis on very quick. I'm, I'm liking that. Nikolai Joker's hop jumper. I'm liking that. Giannis's moving crossover. Is this different from the Yao that y'all already had? Because I'm not a big Yao guy, but he is 7'6", and I would run him if I could pull him. I just have not been lucky enough. Let's, let's uh, pair him. All right, so we know the badges are going to be big different. Plus five against his stratosphere card. Animation wise, is he getting any changes animation wise? No animation changes to be saw. None in sight. None in sight. It, extreme. I mean, completely identical. Completely identical cards. Only changes again is going to be badges, badge wise, and then um, attribute wise. You know, he gets five more attributes plus five to his attributes. Let's look at. Let's look at. Goat Yao Ming now, though. I want to see Goat Yao Ming. What does Goat Yao Ming get different? What's different with Goat Yao Ming? Animation-wise, that's that's what I'm really looking at. Michael Porter Jr. and Damian Lillard on very quick. 
Okay, so the the jumper changed dramatically. I don't know what Michael Porter Jr. shoots like, but if I mean two K must think it's better than uh, Robert Williams and Shea Gildress, so I'll give him that. I will give him that. Um, Pro two leaner still has Joker's hop jumper. As far as the sigs though, Kyrie Irving dribble style, Steve Francis signature size up. He gets Trey Young escape on his goat. Goat card gets Trey Young escape. Goat card gets John Wall's moving moving crossover and John Wall's step back. So uh, I mean, look, call it a don't call it a comeback, but Goat Yao Ming is about to be goated, goated, goated. I mean, as far as badges, plus plus on the badges, we know that. He definitely gets plus badges, but attribute wise, he's plus eight over the 100 overall. So they both will be playable. They both will be playable. But um, I mean, if we if we comparing and contrasting, Go Yao Ming is head over heels, ten toes better. You know what I mean? You might as well uh, might as well call it a wrap at that point. I mean, bruh, he gets Trey Young escape now. And then I don't know what that Michael Porter Jr. versus Damian Lillard is really talking about. I mean, but it it must be it must be worth it. If 2K thinks it's worth it, I'm going to side with 2K. I mean, you don't hear that often, but I guess that's what we're going to say now. All right. And that took us well past the time that we needed to get past in order to uh, see what's going on in this pack market. So let's wait. You know what I want to do, though? Let me reset everything. Let's dashboard reset everything all right yeah there we go so now we got the new billboard the new billboard on the you know what i mean look at that though that's a good billboard andre karolinko i would not mind pulling karolinko i'm not gonna hold you let's get into these okay 10 game win streak now this is what everybody's been telling you about this 10 game win streak is gonna be gonna be a big thing <laughs> You get into a 10 game win streak, win 10 games in a in a row, excluding challenges. So 10 games in a row, they don't have to be online. They can be wherever you need them to be to get to them. Kobe. You just got to be Kobe and get 10 games in a row, 10 game win streak. You get that shoe boost and then you get a free 100 overall card. You got two days to do this. Now look at these dominants. Let's look at these dominants. Remember, you got to get your unlimited ring. You might as well go do that. But look at these dominant. For uh, dominant packs in order to get a free dominant pack, a deluxe dominant pack, get 15 blocks with the Rocket player over multiple games, win five triple threat offline or triple threat online games, make 30 dunks over multiple clutch time offline or clutch time online games, score 30 fast break points over multiple multiplayer games, get one triple double with dark matter or higher players in a game. Get 15 offensive rebounds over multiple multiplayer games and then complete your dominant spotlights. You got six days to do that and you get your free dominant deluxe pack. Looks easy, right? Sounds easy, right? Sounds easy enough to me. I mean, Julius Randle, if Julius Randle is here, these still cost a million. Still cost a million MT to do those. I don't know who. Hopefully we can get that cracking. You saw last week we got it, we got it papping. You know what I mean? We still got this elite pack back on the market. Invincibles are still here for three more days. This elite pack is here for three more days. Who knows what they're gonna do after that? Don't open these champion packs. I saw Cash Nasty opening these in a video, and I'm like, too hype. <laughs> Bruh is too hype. He's he was doing it for the culture at that point. I mean, the boy. <laughs> The boy was getting to it. I was like, what are you doing opening those? Do you see who's in those packs? Yeah, you can get one of these. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's still full of all of these 99s. Why would you? Do you see all of these cards that you don't want? There are bold cards in here. There are bold cards in here. <laughs> he pulled Joker and was like, okay, okay, I feel it. I'm like, no, buddy, you don't want any of these cards. Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. All right, we pulling a box, though. We pulling a box. Do we pull a 20-pack for the culture? We have 1.7, and then I do want to have some MT left over for next week. I do want MT left over for next week. I do. I don't know what to talk to you about during this uh this pack opening so we're just going to talk about the state of 2k 
we're going to talk about the state of 2K and what it takes to be an elite 2K player. I'm just playing. I'm, I'm yapping my ears off at this point. I don't know why I opened this base pack just to yap over a 10 box of base packs when I definitely want to open a 20 box of regular packs. But that's just, it is what it is. I think, my, matter of fact, my thinking when I did pull this box, I, I, I hit the button and I said, let's, let's just juke the system. Let's make him feel like, oh, he's pulling bases this week. That's what he's doing. This is what he's into. I mean, if that's what you're into, that's just what you're into. Um, at some point you got to just think, you know, 2K is going to, they're going to do what they got to do to get what they need to get. And it's a business at the end of the day. So I'm not really going too high up the ladder on if I want to, and we get center power forward. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's not a bad pull. He's seven foot six. I do have my new bowl. Mm, my front court might've just got a little bit better. I mean, out of a base pack, I'm not going to hold you because Bold, Manute Bold is big, very big. And what did we say was up with that? That card was, uh, that was the center power forward card. And that card actually has some damage to it. That card actually has some damage to it. 87 speed. You know what I'm saying? 87 speed. Excuse me. I was just pulling the, the stats up on, uh, M MB, the, uh, 2KDB. Um, I mean, look. That card's not bad. That card ain't bad at all. I mean, 87 speed on a seven foot six player. It's, I mean, I'm just saying it's too bad that it's, that is July. It's too bad that I pulled a seven foot six player in July. That's the part that that's making me feel like, like what, or what, 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 what? This isn't the lineup. This is the lineup right here. And if we had to do a thing, I would say, I would say, I don't know which one of these cards I would take out of the lineup for Buddy. I don't know. I just don't. I think it would be this card. I think it would be this card here. I think it would definitely be 100 overall. Paulo Blanchero. I mean, I, I just, I'm just guessing that's who we would be. I'm just guessing that's who I would take out of the lineup. And then I would move this around like this. And I would move this around like this. And I would just be really janky in my front court. Honestly. Honestly. I mean, and I think I would move this like that. Do one of those. And I think I just feel like this would be. Don't mind this. I just been doing that because it works. I'm not going to hold you. And folks get a surprise. When James Harden comes off the bench, when Hundo James Harden, James Harden comes off the bench with Kareem at center, some folks just kind of get, they kind of spaz. I'm not mad at pulling Goat Yao Ming center power forward, but he does have an 81 three-point shot. He does have an 81 three-point shot. I want to go into freestyle with him real quick and see what his jumper is actually hitting like, though. So excuse Turgaloo. Watch out, Turgy. Big Turgy in the building. No, Big Turgy is in the building. Let's see what y'all is hitting for. But, ah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. It's not, I mean, it's it's not funky funky. It's not, it's not a funky funky jumper, but let's see what it felt like out the corner. Let's see what this thing felt like out the corner, though. Okay, it falls. It falls. That's better than, uh, Better than I was feeling with um, Kareem. No, not Kareem. Not Kareem. I'm sorry. Go Kareem's jumper is kind of butter too. But that's better than I was feeling with Hakeem. Hakeem Olajuwon's jumper was ugh. And then the... the, the Can I talk? Can I even? This car is not bad though. This jumper is not really bad out the corner. You get him stuck in the corner and he's you're good. You'll actually be able to hit that. You'll be able to... Yeah, you'll be able to drain that. This video is going over a little bit longer than I wanted it to. And I'm not cutting anything out of here. Y'all just getting this whole, the whole show. You know what I mean? Um, what do we have to do here though? We, we told you everything you need to know in order to be equipped. Do we open it? We're going to open a 10. We're going to, we're going to dump a 10. We're going to jump on the backs of this 10 box because, because that's, I mean, it just seems like the thing to do. I don't know if, I don't know if y'all feeling me. 
That's another Yao Ming. Hopefully, maybe it's a lock in. Small forward lock in. Okay, we get a lock in card. I'm not mad at that. I think that's a uh, Jamie Jacques Jr. I didn't. I don't know Jacques Cousteau. I've never been to his house, but uh, he looked kind of like you know who he looked kind of like. It that card model looks like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. How do y'all say it? Y'all say Caribbean or Caribbean? Yeah, he look like Jack Sparrow. I'm not gonna hold you. Not gonna hold you. Okay, we this box got lame real quick. Can we get can we get the lock-ins off of here? Can I get lock-ins? No lock-ins for me. Ah man. Nothing. Okay, something else shaking. Another Galaxy Opal. Another I mean, I'm sorry. It hit like a Galaxy Opal. I made I made sure to call them Galaxy Opals because it hits like a Galaxy Opal. That's another Yao Ming. The center Yao Ming. Uh center. Just center. Another center power forward. Another center power forward. Hopefully this one goes for a little bit of change. I'm not sure if it does though. But um, I just need, I need like another couple of shakes out of this box though. This 10 box could shake some. I mean, uh, 10 box could pretty much, you know, shake a leg for your boy or something. So out of this drop, I think the best card out of this drop would probably be, I mean, definitely go Yao Ming. You know that. We know that. Um, for me, for me, it's gotta be, it's gotta be one hundo James Harden. I mean, uh, invincible James Harden. That's just, I mean, it's just one of my favorite players in the on the planet. One of my favorite players on the planet. So I can't front you. I can't front you. I just have to say, I have to say it's between. Oh no, we don't get nothing for Buddy. Well, he's worth ninety. He is worth 90. So we'll take that 90. And then the rest of these, I guess we got to take whatever we get off of those. 245 off of those. What are we sitting on? 157. Do we want to bust another 10 bucks? Honestly, I think, I feel like we can, uh, I feel like we could dump a 20 box and really make a difference out here. We're trying to get to it. We really are trying to get to one of these. And then we do have a, a, a meal though. I mean, hey, and I want to beg you guys, if you into that NCAA, I'm doing it. I'm doing an NCAA, EA, NCAA 25 series two. That's over on the, you know, you can go to the playlist. I'm dropping them on on the playlist. It's getting me, it's taking me a little bit of time to get the editing down, edit these down and get them out there. So if it's any editors in the building, shoot your shot. You know what I mean? You can hit my links, DM me on any platform. I'll be checking the DMs. Just to see like what your what your ticket is, what you want to, you know, what you need. I can get you right. You can get me right. You know what I mean? At this point, the format, I'm just cutting the fat. Honestly, I'm leaving like as much of the gameplay as possible. But I'm just cutting out all the silent areas in the video. It's just, it's just a tedious process on top of recording the video. So let me know if you out there and you... You do good work, send me some of your work. Let me see your portfolio. And maybe we could work, we could work up a deal. You know what I mean? We could work up some. I need a shake out of this though. This whole time I've been yapping and haven't got anything to shake. We can't get anything to shake out of a 20 pack. I mean, come on, like these packs need a honey pack. You need to put a put a honey pack to these packs. What are you what are you really doing out here? What are we getting to? What are we really doing? I mean, out of a 30 minute video, you guys are kind of dragging it, bro. I wanted to like really pull a James Harden out of here. Come home with a Andre Karolinko or some another Ben Simmons. Or can I get that goat? Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming. Ain't no way y'all doing me like this. Out of 14 packs, I think I didn't hit. Did I strike anything yet? I just been sitting here flipping packs and haven't struck anything out of this 20 bucks. Um, 16 is crazy. 16 with nothing is crazy. Look, I mean, even the players that I'm flipping out of these packs are like, look at it. Look at the look on Isaiah Jackson's face. He's like, what? <laughs> Why am I here? What is, what is going on? Look at the look on Yao's face. He looked like, like on this card art, on this card art, this pack art, they both look clueless. Pack 19 and nothing. Oh my gosh. We getting out of here on a flood. This is crazy. This is crazy. Brother, uh.
What's that? Did I lose you? You lost me, 2K. Look at everything I got out of this. Did I pull anything out of there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I didn't pull anything but duplicates out of a 20. 14,000 MT worth of duplicates. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset. I am. I am. Okay, my thing is, I wanna, I wanna drop another ten box, but I'm like, like nah, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Is it worth it? Like, is it really? I'm, I'm lost for words right now, bro. The way that that just didn't go my way is crazy. This has to be studied. Two K, y'all have to be studied at this point. Like, what is really? We got a mythical card out of here. What mythical card did we get? Oh, we got Turkey. You're right. We did get Turgaloo. And then we got this Jaquel, Jack Cousteau. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm low-key thinking we pull another one because I'm just really trying to get something. We'll end up with a mill. We'll end up, we're, we're going to leave it. Yeah, we're not going below a mill, MT. We're just going to do this 10 box. And if nothing shakes, nothing shakes. You know what I mean? We just, Darius Garland. If I'm tired of seeing Darius Garland, I'm not even seeing new cards. Like, I'm just seeing all the same cards I've been locked into seeing all year. This is bad. This is crazy work, 2K. Y'all doing Jackson Hayes. Is that a, I can't believe that 20 box showed me 20 duplicates. And I'm still sitting here pulling a 10. This has to be studied. Like, this has to be reverse engineered and studied. Because it ain't no way that I'm still sitting here pulling Jaron Jackson Jr.'s out of dominant packs looking for a GOAT. I'm just looking for one GOAT. Can I get my first GOAT pull? I, I haven't got I haven't pulled not a GOAT all season. It's crazy. The odds are crazy. I mean, um, the odds are stacked against you at this point. If if I come out of here with 10 duplicates, I'm turning this game off for the rest of the day. I'm probably doing that anyway. I'm not going to hold you. I'm, I might get to unlimited and get that last. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Buddy Hill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten duplicates. Ten little Indians. Wow. Man, y'all be cool, man. I don't have nothing else to say about it. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.